Welcome back everybody, HB Craft here, and this is episode 8 of Age of Engineering. So today I think I'd like to venture into the nether, try and kill some blazes to get our blaze powder. Uh, we need this so that we can make the slightly better blast furnace here. Um, I realise that the macerator here, uh, you can pop the blaze rods into here, and you actually get 5 of them out, whereas I think usually you get 2, so that'll mean we have to kill a lot less of the blazes. Uh, which I'm all for. Uh, so I've ba I've upgraded my armor a little bit here, so we should be a bit safer. Uh, I made this pretty cool short bro, short bro, short bro. I made this pretty cool short bow here, uh, just out of cobalt. Uh, added some redstone, diamond, a bit of quartz to make it sharper, um, and I also made an arrow, a manilium arrow. I added some uh, lapis to this, so hopefully we get more drops of the blaze rods. Uh, some quartz to make it sharper, and a diamond, and this is currently at 13 attack damage, which I think is pretty good. I also have got some jam on me here. This particular one here is uh, regeneration. Um, I think a few of the others are night vision and stuff. So yeah, I think we should fare okay. So let's head over there now. I did mark a little place on the map where I did find a, another fortress. Um, previously off camera I went over there and kind of did a bit of reconnaissance, um, had a look to see whether, uh, it was something we could do, uh, oh god, thank you slime boots, um, yeah, so I did have a look, see what kind of, uh, difficulty we're up against, okay. um, yeah, and it was pretty bad, I got killed a lot, um, so, yeah, I, th I think we're going to need this bow, really, because I, I was going in with a sword, and it's, um, yeah, it's just not, not really possible, um, you know, where we are right now. Maybe in the future. Um, am I going to be stupid and try and launch myself up there? Yes, I totally am. Nice. Okay, okay so let's work our way up to this uh, stronghold here. Ah. Uh, it's not a stronghold, is it? Sorry, a fortress. Without going in the lava. Ugh. So spooked. Okay. <sighs> Wish me luck. Can hear ghasts. Did I bring some torches? I did. Oh god. Yeah, they're pretty good. Blazes. Aha! Aha! Oh god. Oh god. Do you want to come over here? No? It's okay, I guess I will come to you then. Nice, I'm pretty happy with this bow. Come on. Come on. Nice. Plays rod. So there's a spawner here, cool. So I guess we just hang around here for a little bit. So if I, I was getting f five if I put them in the macerator, wasn't I? That was the... So I think we've got two blaze rods here that will give us 10 already. We need 14, I think, in order to make this furnace. Might as well grab a few more, seeing as um, these are proving to be pretty easy, actually. You know, famous last words. Um, but yeah. Oh, come on. Ah, ah. Okay. Could do with getting some uh, wither skeletons as well. There's one over there. Yeah, I could do with um, 
I was thinking maybe we could try get some um, drop of evil because if we combine that with the uh, with just uh, dirt, we can get cursed earth, um, which allow us to make a pretty good um, mob farm. So I was thinking we'd do that at some point as well. But yeah, let's just kill one more of these and I think we'll retreat to safety. Well, actually we'll go try kill that wither I just saw as well. Um, and then we will retreat to safety. Okay. Yeah, we've got plenty of blaze rods here now. So let's go and kill that wither skeleton I saw. God, come back down. Spawner up there too, maybe. Um, I'm sure I saw. With the oh, he's up there. He's up there. So, mirror is this really dark? God. Okay, let's get out of here. Then we got what we need. I managed to get a bit lucky on the way back from the nether actually. I managed to get a drop of evil here, so we will put that aside for now. Uh, we can make cursed earth with that. I think I'll make a mob farm. Maybe if we've got time I'll do that later, later in this episode actually. Uh, but for now we have everything we need to make uh, our other blast furnace that we need. So let's see. The recipe for these I'm pretty sure was blaze powder in the middle. And then it was nether bricks around the the corners, I think. So like this. And then the slag was here, yes. So we needed 14 recipes of this. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Gives us 28. Yeah, that should be enough. Okay. So let's set this up. I'm thinking we set up where these furnaces are. I was going to move th move these anyway because I'd like to use them uh, with the greenhouse in order to automate them. So I will move those out of the way, and we'll cover we'll now cover up this this horrible mess here with the blast furnace. So one, two, three. Can I leave a hole in the middle of this? Um. I know it's 3x3, three three, but what about the middle block? Do we have to have that? Let's give it a go. So, two, three, okay, and then we just whack this with the hammer. Okay, yeah, I think we need the middle block. Let's put that in there. There we go. And we have a blast furnace. So we can just pop the fuel in here, pop iron here, and we will get steel and slag bag, I th if I remember correctly. Let's grab some coal. Do I have any? Yes. Okay, let's grab some iron. I should have some. Yeah, I've got loads of iron. Okay, let's get this going. Uh, or does it need charcoal? Does it take the coal coke, maybe? Yes, it does. Okay. And iron. So this is, I, th I think it's probably about the same. Well, it's a bit, it looks to be a, a tiny bit quicker. It's still very slow, of course. But um, the main thing about this is that we don't require any, uh, we don't require the generator that uses a lot of fuel. We don't require the air the cans of air that we have to keep sending back and forth. So yeah, this is um, just a bit easier for us here. So why don't we try setting up a mob farm? Uh, I got this cursed earth, uh, cursed earth, cursed, um, the drop of evil, sorry. Got this earlier. In other packs that I've played, the cursed earth will spread. So I'm wondering if that is the same in this particular pack. If we combine dirt and this, we don't get cursed earth. I thought we did. Let's have a look. Cursed. Right click soil with a. Aha! Okay. 
uh, well we I suppose we best put this in place then um, I've got a little bit saved up over here so I'll go clear that out a little bit and I will be back with you when this is ready okay so we've got some cursed earth going here uh, I just put the block of dirt down and then you use the drop of evil on top of it it spreads pretty much like grass so I put some dirt around it and it seems to have spread quite quickly uh, we'll probably try and fill in a bit more of the room here so it spreads a bit more. I'm a little concerned about filling in the whole room though. Um, yeah, because the uh, diamond killer that we're using here, I'm not sure that would be able to keep up if I were to fill the uh, entire room in. So we'll just do a little bit in the corner here and maybe some down the sides. Uh, yeah. But um, yeah, the diamond killer that I'm using here from Progressive Automation, you just pop some coal in the side uh, you can use RF if you uh, add an engine in there. Uh, we have a little slot for our tool. I might use a diamond sword. I could make a tinker's uh, sword actually, maybe, and add some kind of looting and upgrades to it. But yeah, we'll we'll see about that. I've also put these hoppers around the outside. Um, I'm going to hook them up with uh, transfer nodes. Um, but yeah, I wasn't sure whether the killer would pick things up, so I've got these hoppers around the outside. Just in case, we could use um, item grates maybe to drop the items down. Uh, but yeah, the, the hopper should be fine for now, we'll see how that goes. I have a feeling the uh, diamond killer might actually just pick stuff up anyway, but yeah, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, so then I'll probably put some vector plates around the outside to channel the mobs into the center. Because the mobs have to be stood on top of it like this to actually get killed. So, so yeah, we'll get some of those put down, and I will be back with you in a second. Okay, so I've got everything hooked up down at the bottom here. We've got the transfer pipes on the hoppers. Might be a bit overkill, we will see. And this just gets channeled down into a chest. Um, everything should get put in there. Um, test number two is to see whether the... Oh yeah, the cursor is spreading quite nicely here. Um, is just to see whether if I put vector plates on top of the cursed earth is it gonna spawn the mobs as it usually would um, so yeah let's put some of these down I'm just using the green ones for now but we can upgrade these okay um, yeah and let's maybe uh, just knock out these torches and see if it spawns things the way it usually would uh, and then I'm gonna run very quickly because I will be killed if I am not careful Anything? Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, thank god uh, explosions are disabled. Okay. So yeah, that seems to be working. Um, I'm just going to block this off and yeah. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to mention as well that I've kind of uh, upgraded the roof a little bit here. I've just put these uh, white outlines around here which I think adds a bit more depth and I have also filled in the recess bits here with kind of a, a lighter blue um, I think it makes it look a bit nicer we'll probably uh, get some lighting put up maybe some kind of uh, hanging lights I think um, if not we could use some glowstone I think that would be quite nice but yeah let's head back over to our mob farm over here we're working on are we safe to go back in here yet? Yes we are. Okay so I'll probably just fill the rest of this out with uh, vector plates here. I think we've confirmed that the mobs will still spawn with them so the plan I was having was just to put little channels down the center here like so uh, and we will put these at each of the four uh, cardinal directions like this. Yep, okay, and then we will fill in these side bits so that it just channels the mobs into the uh, middle channels on each side. Okay, so that's that done. Um, yeah, so we'll just try and knock out these lights. I'm a bit concerned about getting out of here because the plates do slow you down a fair bit. Um, but yeah, let's, let's go ahead and knock these lights out and see if everything works. 
Uh, yeah, let's take this one out first. And then this one. I don't think there's a good order to do these in, really. This one. This one. And get out, get out, get out, get out. And block it off. Okay, is anything spawning? Um, there we go. Okay, block that off. Uh, we will go down to the bottom here. Um, yeah, I think I'll just use the diamond sword for now. Yeah, let's pop that in there. Oh, I can hear killing. Killing is happening. Okay, yeah, so that was a creeper. Cool. So that seems to be working. Um, oh, also I should mention, um, I, d I don't know if you'll be hearing... <coughs> excuse me. don't know if you'll be hearing the game audio here, but... Um, I think there's a bit of an issue there, but yeah. This seems to be working. Um, is it going through to the chest? It isn't. Which confirms one of the thoughts I was having, which kind of makes all these transfer pipes useless. Um... Yeah, I can't see anything in the transfer nodes here. I mean, I did I did guess that maybe the killer would just pick up the items, which it seems to be doing. Um, so yeah, so all we need to do is really just hook a transfer node up to the, the center. Yeah, let's do that. Um, so let's get rid of these transfer pipes here. We really only need one. Uh, but we always need transfer pipes, so uh, I guess it's a, it's a good thing that we've made all of these extra ones anyway. I'll leave the hoppers here for now, just in case they're going to pick up anything extra that drops. Um, I'm pretty sure this killer's going to pick it all up, but you know, we will wait. Um, so let's get a transfer node put on the killer. Uh, there you are, transfer node. Okay, and we will hook this back up using the pipes. Like so. Oh, that's connecting to the hopper. Is that going to be an issue? Hmm... Nothing being pulled out of there. Oh, it has been pulled out. Okay, is this going to the hopper above then? Yeah, okay. So we need to just reroute the uh, piping here. Yeah, that's much better. Okay, so, and if we move these back into the killer. Okay, these should be pulled out and put in the chest now. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so this is... This seems to be working now. Uh, I'm pretty happy with this setup. Um, yeah, nothing in these hoppers. Yeah, as I suspected, it's okay. Um, we'll leave them there for now. I'm pretty happy with this. We could upgrade this with cards. We could um, add more killers if we wanted to. It's a fairly modular system. Um, I just have to remember never to break the, the uh, wood here, otherwise I will die. But yeah, I think that will do us for now. Um, we can come back and upgrade this in the future. So to finish this episode off, why don't we use the transfer pipes that we made, the extra ones, why don't we use those to try and automate the fueling of some furnaces? So I'm thinking we put it next to the greenhouse here, just because that's where our coal dust is coming from our plants. So I'll just clear out a little area at the side. It does mean that the furnaces are going to be a bit further away from the... Oh, there's a hole. Let's fill this in. Uh, yeah, it does mean the furnaces will be a little bit further away from the base, but we can always just put a furnace in the base anyway, just for quick, for quick smelting, and then we can come out here to do uh, batch smelting and stuff. I mean, we're going to be upgrading the, the whole furnace situation you know, pretty soon anyway, so... But, um, yeah, I think this is just a good use of extra transfer pipes for now. Um, so this is, yeah, we're getting plenty of coal dust from that. So uh, let's see, how can we hook this up? I guess if we go around the back, um, or maybe I can just snake the cable around the back of here. Um, yeah, so let's clear. I'll probably have the furnaces here, six of them. Um, and then... I guess we'll have a bit for the pipes, and then we will come around the back. Uh, I'm okay to just put it on the back here. I think you can. These wires don't get in the way once you've placed them. 
you know, the uh, immersive engineering wise, I think you can place things. Yeah. Yeah, so that should be fine. So let's uh, hook the the pipes up here. I think I'll probably need to make a few more pipes actually, but for now, just to show you the idea that I had, I will just hook uh, the ones we have up. So if we pop the furnaces down here, so these should be getting the coldest now. Yep, it's being taken out, so yeah, there we go. Okay, and it should distribute these. Yeah, that's great. Okay, so it's going to... Yeah, that's good. Okay, it seems to be filling those up. So if we get a bit more, uh, a few more pipes and uh, fill the rest of this up with furnaces, it should keep them constantly fueled. Um, and then we can come back here and do any kind of batch smelting we need. So yeah, I've just got the final transfer pipes hooked up to the back of here. So all these are hooked up now. Um, and we should have constantly fueled furnaces. Um, yeah, pretty happy with that. So I think that'll be it for today. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode.